International Math Olympiad 2013 Problem Number 1 Prove that for any pair of positive integers k and n there exist k positive integers m1 through mk not necessarily different such that the equality on the screen holds. Let's write the equality that we need to prove in more compact form. The expression on the left side of the equality is equal to the product of k terms on the right side where index i varies from 1 to k. Let's examine the most simple case when k equals 1. In this case the right side of this equality has only one term 1 plus 1 over m1 and if we set m1 simply equal to n then for any positive integer n this equality becomes identity. This proves this theorem for the case k equals 1. The next logical step is to try to use mathematical induction assuming that this theorem is proven for some positive integer number k prove it for k plus 1. Of course, this proof is not as trivial as the previous one. But what usually helps with solving math olympiad problems is understanding that the authors typically have some simple and elegant solution. And you just need uh, patience and ingenuity to find that idea. Let's think logically how we can prove this. First, we understand that positive integer numbers m i exist for the equality at the top for any given positive integer n. So we can use any n and be sure that positive integer numbers m i exist for this equality. That means that we can select this positive integer n so that it will increase the exponent in the power of 2 from k to k plus 1 and at the same time it will insert one more term on the right side of the equality and that term will be in the form 1 plus 1 over ai which is the same as ai plus 1 over ai. This brings us to the idea that for number n in the target equality at the bottom we should use number n divided by 2 in the initial equality at the top which will result in the denominator in the left side of the equality being multiplied by 2, which will increase the exponent in that denominator from k to k plus 1. Let's first assume that the number n in the target equality is even. In this case, we can use number n over 2 in the initial equality and uh, as we have assumed before there exist k positive integer numbers a i that satisfy the initial equality. The resulting expression on the left side of the equality is almost exactly what we need. The denominator is n and the denominator is the expression that we need minus 1. This can be corrected by multiplying both sides of this equality by the fraction included in the red circle on the right side of the equality. We can see that in this fraction the denominator is equal to denominator plus 1. This is exactly what we need. The resulting equality proves that we can construct k plus 1 positive integers a i that satisfies the equality for number k plus 1 based on such positive integer numbers that exist for the equality with number k. If number n in the target equality is odd then we cannot directly divide it by 2. That's why we will use n plus 1 divided by 2 which is a positive integer number. In this case the resulting expression on the left side of the equality has denominator that needs to be corrected. It's n plus 1 instead of n. This can be corrected by multiplying both sides of this equality by the fraction n plus 1 over n. Again, we can see that in this fraction, the denominator is equal to denominator plus 1. 
which is exactly what we need. And in this case also the resulting equality proves that we can construct k plus 1 positive integer numbers ai that satisfy the equality with number k plus 1. We have proved by using the method of mathematical induction the statement formulated in this problem. Now if we want to we can construct these numbers for the case k equals 2 based on these numbers for case k equals 1 for n equals 5 and 6. You can do it as a home exercise.